We're here in Tucson with Gio, half an hour before the players come out onto the training pitch. We can see that it is thoroughly laid out for the structure of the actual session for the players from start to finish. Can you take us through what they'll be going to as an example today? Yeah, always a collective group of people that are looking to do the exercise, what we want. So we have to have good communication with the medical staff, with the you know strength conditioning, the technical staff to make sure that we prepare the practice and that we give the loads that we think are the proper loads for them. From that point, we start organizing practice and consider everything, the physical part, the mental part, the technical, tactical, you know, and as soon as they walk inside here, they have to see everything already that the visual yeah. is all in place, organized, and, and there's the element of surprise. The one thing that we like, you know, our coaching staff is to make sure that we always do different exercises. That way when they come here, you know, they, they don't know exactly what we're going to work on. Yeah. Uh, and the way that challenge mentally also will help them to continue to develop. Just keeps them on their toes all the time. Always. So today the practice is more of a practice in which we're going to do first a, a warm up, and then we have a technical, which is gonna, it's called the hourglass. Uh, <laughs> this is everybody involved. It's a lot of mobility, a lot of combinations. And then from there, we're going to go into this uh, possession game with goals uh, in which it's going to be 12 against 12 with eight against eight, four bumpers. And then from there, we finish 11 v 11, already more tactical things with and without the ball, preparing already the team for tomorrow. You touched on it with the coaches. Everybody's involved. The choreography of your training session is fascinating. It's like one big dance going on. How important is that to make sure that the flow of the training session is right? It's very important because the players need to make sure that they do a, a, a very specific workout in the amount of time that we want that is sharp and we need everybody to be involved even from the moments that they drink water you know the guys that come in right away the rest periods the, the the way we want them to work we want them to be sharp quick do the exercises the right way and uh, it takes a lot of planning and especially a lot of execution as you said in a choreography yes. type of way you know how much during the session are you monitoring the players as well their performances are they are they playing well enough uh, are some players a little bit off it physically are, are they at it or do they need to be have a less load physically yeah so we have the GPS that yeah. track them you know uh, how much they run how much work they do during the practice and we assess that you know with that there's the visual part also how well we feel in the way practice is going and so there's so many components that will give us the reason why we feel that the practice was a good practice I'm gonna get off your training pitch because I know your players will be coming out here soon enough thanks so much for your time and if you look at it that is just one training session last year coach your plans 208 training sessions a lot to think about